Big Smoke, New Zealand City People in the 60s and 70s, was published by Random House in 2004. Ironically, the same year that I arrived in New Zealand. I was given this book, a review copy, by my editor at the time, who said, you're a photographer, do a review on this book. I really can't recall whether I did a review or not. I'm pretty sure I must have done. I'll have to check the archives at work. If I can find it, I'll slip it into this little video. What I do recall, incredibly vividly, is instantly falling in love with this book. It's an absolutely fantastic collection of incredible work. This is a book I absolutely treasure. John Daly was born in Cromwell, New Zealand in 1946. Throughout his young life, John and his parents moved from small town New Zealand to small town New Zealand. At the age of 18, John arrived in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. As he says in the book, he was seriously ready for a taste of the big smoke. John spent every available hour walking the streets with his Pentax. As he says in the preface to Big Smoke, people generally didn't know they were being photographed. I became adept at looking nonchalantly in other directions as I worked. He goes on to say, Some of my favourite shots in this collection are ones that I overlooked 30 years ago. Pictures that have taken on significance with the passing of time and the changing of fashions. This point has always resonated strongly with me. I know images that I take today will have more clout and more impact in the decades to come. Such is the power and beauty of photography. To be honest with you, the light of this book is my idea of perfection. Each page is graced by one image, framed beautifully in white. The only text is a print number and a brief location and date. Back in 2011, myself and a sports journalist at the paper came up with a book plan, all about local grassroots rugby in our region. 2011 was Rugby World Cup year in New Zealand. <laughs> and we had this we had these delusions of absolute world domination. We were going to sell thousands upon thousands of copies to all these tourists and, and rugby supporters coming in from all over the globe. And in reality, we sold about 400 copies. It paid its way. Let's put it that way. It paid its way. I used the layout of Big Smoke as an idea of how I would like our book. It didn't work out fully like that, but I'm still quite proud of it. And the layout of Big Smoke is certainly something that I will use in any future books I, <laughs> I try and create. Right, let's get back to Big Smoke. This book is just absolutely chock full of powerful, strong black and white images. Each image depicts a sense of times long since past. In today's world, we're, we're totally oversaturated with, with photography. It's everywhere, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, e everywhere's got images. To see people walking down the street taking random photographs with a cell phone, nobody bats an eyelid. But seeing people with a real camera taking photographs of random people doing random stuff can invoke a sense of mistrust and uh, unease. I just wish people could hang fire, just wait 10, 20, 30, 40 years, then look back at those photographs and people will actually see the importance of what genuine street photographers are out there doing. Nothing dodgy, they're out there documenting, recording life in their time as they see it for future generations to look back on and think, what a place that must have been. Oh Jesus, <laughs> thank God we weren't in that time and place. That's the power of photography. And this book, Big Smoke, does that in absolute spades. What a fantastic document of New Zealand city people in the 1960s and 1970s. If you can get hold of a copy of this book, do it. You will not be disappointed. John Daly sadly passed away in 2012, but John's incredible legacy lives on in every single page of this book. Grab a copy, guys. You will not be disappointed. I promise you, you will not be disappointed.